I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade or replace your uh, RAM for your Yoga uh, 520 laptop. That's the model number. If you want to be really exact, it's 52014LKB. And here it says Yoga 520. So if you want to upgrade the RAM on this one, it's really easy. All you have to do is to flip your laptop over, remove all the screws at the bottom cover, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 screws and on the middle screw they might have a little plastic over it to cover the screw just lift the plastic and then remove the screw all the screws are the same size so don't worry about mismatching them uh, you can put any screw wherever it goes they're all the same once you remove the screws and um, by the way i use this opening tool this is called ifix kit pro tool i really recommend you guys to get one it has all the bits that you need and extension and they're really durable it will last you a very very long time they come with all the opening tools plungers and what do you call this the wristband grounding one suction cup they come with everything so it's really handy to have one of these i like the quality on those anyway once you remove the screws you want to open your laptop in 45 degree angle Just like that. So this one is already open, so let's put it back in. Okay. What you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. And all you want to do, mine it just comes out easy because it's been already open a few times. Right, let me try to pack it down as much as I can. So between the top and the bottom cover. There you go. And then you want to wiggle it around a little bit, just like this. This motion go all around. You're gonna hear some clicks. That's normal. To the sides and slowly be gentle once you did most of them and you see the top cover is just coming up loose close the laptop and grab the top bottom cover and wiggle it around and it will come out eventually this is a bottom filter you can just clean this one where the air goes in and sucks in and goes out from the back so clean the filter all right down here there's your ram right here in order to remove the RAM, you have to remove this, lift up this cover, plastic cover, I mean, uh, aluminum cover, metal cover that holds the battery. This is right here to, in order, if you press on the bottom cover, it just doesn't hit the RAM or anything. If it doesn't come out easy, don't worry, you can, I'll show you another method. If it's in there really hard and it's not coming out, that's it, just like that. Grab yourself a tweezer or anything to poke it with. Just like this one, let's call it. Grab this one right here, and then you wanna stick it in the corner, right there, and then lift it up. Do that on the both sides. And then the, lap, the car will come out. All right, some people say you should disconnect the battery. You don't need to disconnect the battery. If you want to disconnect the battery, that you can go ahead and do it. Just pull this cable jack towards the battery. There's not much space in there, but there we go. Uh, there it is. You can remove the jack if you want to, but if the power is off, you don't need to. Yeah, for extra precaution, go ahead and do it. The CMOS battery is right over on the other side. It's right here. That's the CMOS battery, if you're asking. All right, the RAM in the, is right in the middle. In order to remove the RAM, you have to pull these two triggers apart. And the RAM will come in 45 degree angle. There you go. And you can see the RAM right there in 45 degree angle. And you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle, right there. And obviously, you can see on the other side of the sticker, it says 4 gig PC4-2400. That means PC4 means is a DDR4 RAM and 2400 hertz. So if you get the new RAM or 8 gig RAM or even 16 gig RAM, 
you want to put it in the same position make sure the cut matches the hinge right there you want to put it in 45 degree angle grab it in here and stick it all the way in make sure all the pins are inside and then push it towards the motherboard right there and you're going to hit those two clips going in and the last thing is grab the cover align it with those hinges on the on the side and then press it down make sure you hit those clicks too all right you can only upgrade one dim the other dim on the other side is soldered on the board i don't know if there is any and the last thing is to grab the battery plug and slide it in and push it towards the jack there we go and then somehow align the cables right there I guess. All right. And the last thing is to grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top, press down on the corners, on the sides, and then put the bottom screws. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, and if you have any comments, you know where to leave them, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.